a small closet in your child's bedroom or do you have no closet at all? Well, I'm gonna show you how to convert a bookcase into a closet, so stay tuned. Hey there, I'm Erin here from Wardrobe Hackers and today I'm gonna talk about converting a bookcase into a closet for your little one. A lot of us don't have closets in bedrooms or we have small closets. So this is a great option instead of, you know, piles of clothes everywhere. I really like this option. This is gonna cost you under roughly 50 bucks. I was able to find this awesome bookshelf off of a local buy, sell, trade Facebook group here in my town. It cost me $30 and um, I'm gonna apply a nice adhesive to the back, decorative adhesive. You can find this at Lowe's, Walmart, Target, Amazon. The one I found is from Lowe's and it's under $10. It's a, re a really nice decorative um, piece that's gonna go on the back just to kind of add a pop of color and make it more fun. This is also a really good option if you are bringing a newborn home and you don't wanna go up and down your steps or back and forth to their bedroom to get their clothes or blankets. You can only put so much on a changing table. So this is just, you know, just a great other piece that you can add to your bedroom for them. Now, first and foremost, I wanna talk about like the safety of these bookcases. Bookcases can be really heavy and they can cause some serious injury to our little one or our pets. So I wanna make sure that you, after you're done, decorating it before you put the clothes in it and anything else that you put on it, make sure that you secure it to the wall. That's very, very important piece. So please make sure that you do that. There's lots of videos on YouTube on how to do that. I've attached one in the article that I wrote on this. So you can go and easily look and um, it will just make, give you peace of mind and it's a really big safety component. All right, let's get to the fun stuff. So when you get your piece of furniture, you're gonna to want to just clean it off. Just get yourself a nice wet rag with water, just easily clean and, you know, get all the dust off and debris off just to make it, um, you know, once you apply that adhesive, it will not stick on any dirt. You don't wanna, you know, bring any dirt or dust into your bedroom or into your kid's bedroom. So there we go, it's nice and clean and then what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to decide on what shelves that we're gonna to wanna to keep and what shelves we're gonna to wanna to get rid of. So what I like is, I think I'm gonna do a nice shelf here at the top, and then I'm gonna do um, you know, my tension rod, which is gonna, going to hold the clothes. I wanna make sure that I can reach the clothes. I'm rather on the shorter side, so I wanna be able to put it, you know, a little bit above um, my head so I can just easily reach them off. So then I think what I wanna do is, um, you know, maybe put one down here as well. This shelving unit came with this awesome, these awesome drawers and um, doors. So this is really great. This is gonna be able to store a ton of other items such as blankets, shoes, um, hats, whatever else you have. You could also store more diapers than this as well. All right, toys, let's get this closed up and let's start. The next step of what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna measure it before you put on the adhesive. So I know that this unit is about 30 and a half inches in length. And then I've already pre-measured it, so I know that it's 48 inches in height of where I'm gonna wanna put the adhesive. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these shelves off and let's apply the adhesive to it. Now, if your shelves are attached by nails, you're just gonna wanna use a um, screwdriver just to take them out um, to easily you know, get rid of them. And then, um, Go ahead and store whatever shelves that you're not using. You can store them under the bed. You can store them in your garage because you can always convert this back into a really nice bookshelf when you're done using it. All right, so let's get the decorative adhesive on. I've chosen a just a really pretty decorative. Um, I have girls, so I wanted to go with something a little bit more girly, but there's so many options out there. There's lots of different colors. There's neutrals, um, tons to choose from. So this is what you use to put in your 
kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets to help protect the cabinet. Super simple to, to use. You're able to cut on the lines. It gives you it in inches. It's just a really cool product. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with bigger pieces. All right. I want to make sure there's no bubbles in it and then take it from the bottom and just pull it down. It doesn't have to be per perfect, it's just for decorative because the clothes are going to hang in front of it. So you're really not even going to be able to see it. So if you've got some bumps in it, holes in it, or if it doesn't fit perfectly on the sides, that's totally fine. Second piece. You're just going to want to make sure that the pieces go together. So I don't know if you can tell how this decorative piece is going kind of up. I'm just going to want to make sure it's going the same way on the second piece that I apply. We are almost done with our finished product and it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, you're going to have clothes in front of it. So it's just to kind of give it a nice background from, um, from, you know, the clothes and the items that you're going to put in it just to kind of give it, you know, jazz it up a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to decide on which shelves I'm going to put back in. Like I said, I want to make sure I put one in at the top. Cause I, you can put picture frames up there, any kind of keepsakes, things that you aren't you know, that you don't need on a daily basis. All right, so there we go. We've got the first one in. Now I'm gonna put the tension rod in. This is from Lowe's. You're gonna find this in the plumbing department. It's actually for um, like a shower curtain, but it works really well for this and it holds up to 30 pounds of clothes. And we know kids' clothes don't weigh that much. This is gonna be under $10. It comes in a silver option and then this white option. I liked the white option um, just cause it's gonna go nicely with our background. It's really easy to put on. So like I said before, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're able to reach this. I'm on the short side, so just sticking it right here works out really nicely for me and you're going to want to twist it in it's nice and secure there so i'm not going to put a shelf here because i already have this nice shelf that's already built in on my bookcase your bookcase might not have that so you might want to put a nice shelf right here to hold shoes or whatever you think may you know work well there and here, I'm also not gonna put another shelf, but as you go down, you could put another one in, just depending on how many items that you have. So now I'm going to put the clothes on. This is my daughter's clothes. I'm gonna put them on the rod, just to kind of show you how cute this can look. Really cute. I mean, you just have so, I mean, look how much space you could put on this. And baby clothes are really small. Um, so this is just to give you a little bit of an idea of kind of what it will look like. And now I'm going to decorate this top shelf. Now this top shelf is going to be for items like picture frames or keepsakes, things that you don't use on a daily basis. So let's go ahead and decorate this up. I've got a nice little picture frame of my daughter and her aunt, my sister. And then I've got a cute little unicorn that she likes. And, and then I've got just a little thing that says her name on it. You know, just to kind of like decorate it up, make it a little bit more personal. Like I said, these are items that you're just going to want to, nothing too heavy, but things that you don't use on a daily basis. So now I'm going to put her shoes right here on this space, just so I can kind of see what goes with each outfit. Just 
make it look nice and cute. And then in here, I've got just so many items. We've got blankets that can go in here. I mean, look how much space we have. Just putting another shelf up here just would give you extra space. I've got a nice bin. These are awesome. They're, they hold all of her hats. Fits perfectly in there as well. And then, you know, just a little cute book bag can go in here. Actually, you know what? Oh, I just stick it right up there just to make it look nice and cute. So these, like I said, this one came with these doors, which I think are awesome. But even if they don't, I love being able to see these products and being able to see the items that your child has. I think it's really cute. It looks really organized. You're easily going to be able to, you know, pull things. Great for your bedroom. Great for their bedroom. We'll close it up. And there we go. We've got it all done. It's adorable. You could paint this a different color, a pink or even a white would be really nice. And this adhesive easily comes off when you're done using it. And then you can have a bookshelf again. If you have found this video helpful and you've learned something, go ahead and like it and share it on Facebook. Leave us some comments, tag your friends. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at Wardrobe Hackers. And thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.